So we just have the final two bosses. We gotta get through Throne Duo and Chandra, and then we're gonna hop right into New Game Plus. We're gonna rush the second Puzzling Stone Sword and then kill everything. Pretty much it. Nothing else to it. I gotta get Twinkling Titanite, I guess. I need six more and we can get all of that in the DLC. Should be fun, I think so. I think Power Stancing is gonna kind of ruin the moveset because it's probably not gonna be unique anymore, but I'm not gonna just solely Power Stance. We'll definitely do some Power Stancing. I shouldn't say it's gonna ruin the moveset. It's just, you're probably not gonna be able to do the whip stuff, which is a bummer, but we can still two hand. We can still do the one handed R1s and R2s. And I feel like the straight sword power stance moveset's probably not too bad. Rone duo. 101, yikes. What the hell? It has so little stamina cost. Yeah, that's probably why it's so good. I feel like lighter weapons, if you're power stancing lighter weapons, the stamina cost is very light. And power stancing is actually good with bigger weapons where it's slow. Less so. It's really the only downside to power stancing big weapons is the stamina costs are just so high. Stamina. Swing. Can I roll? It was my roll button broken? I swear to God, dude. I can roll like three times in this fight where it just didn't. Might be in trouble here. Watch her just chill for a second. Damn it, really? How are you? Why does he still have a shield out? Put your shield away. The Watcher can't buff anymore. Dude. 
Oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna lock on. I was almost really bad at the end. I actually was going to heal Watcher. This damage probably won't be that great here just because of the dark infusion. But that's gonna happen. Damn, I didn't think that'd reach. I hope the durability holds out. This one, I guess. Oh. Yeah, this damage is rough. It's not even like this is New Game Plus Nishandra, this is just New Game Nishandra. We're dealing this little... Damn, I keep thinking she's just, like, not gonna hit me there. Huh? That was weird. How did I miss? Alright, well, New Game is done. Get the, uh, credit skip. Yeah, it's a cool weapon. A lot more to come of it. I'm gonna get some bright bugs, I think. Do that. I gotta get the effigies. I get the radiance. 73, sure, why not? Then I'll level with whatever I have left over. So first thing we'll do in uh, the game plus is we're gonna rush the weapon. Begin journey two. I think we're good to go. Can't think of anything else. We got a dark puzzling stone sword. Let's do it. Let's go. So yeah, with the run. That's what we're starting off with. I'm gonna skip the Royal Rat Vanguard. I'll probably get the Grave of Saints Bonfire, but we'll go back after uh, we get the sword. Hey man, even if the damage doesn't seem that good, at least the weapon is cool. It's very cool. Big fan. Just very unique. It's got like a thrust R1. Obviously, the R2s are completely unique. And I don't know if another straight sword has this or not. Probably. Maybe there's, I mean, how many straight swords are there? There were like 15. One of them has to have a similar moveset. You would think, anyway. I don't really know. It's just a very unique weapon. This is the only one with a two handed R1 thrust, you mean? Yeah, okay. It's kind of surprising, though. I'm gonna do this. No, don't leave them. Just use them. Oh, I have bone dust, too. For my three Estus. See, so yeah, I Gulch Giants. We gotta do that first. That's always fun. Grab the uh, thing over here. Estus Shard. All right, and then where's the thing? Cat ring's not on. Good thing I literally just checked. 
before uh, <laughs> before dropping down because I for sure would have been dead. Oof! I missed the I missed landing on it. If you land on that, it still breaks, but you don't take as much damage when you fall through it. So we'll probably be done with this run next week. I'm going to guess at most seven hours to get through New Game Plus. So that'll put us like probably done by Tuesday. And then after that, we're going to start an Elden Ring randomizer. And I'll probably work on that alongside the DS3 repeating crossbow. That's going to be rough. It's going to be crossbow only up till Gale, and then I got to kill Gale with the crossbow and get the repeating crossbow, and then do like everything with the repeating crossbow. I don't know how early you can even get a crossbow in DS3. I would guess around high wall, because you can't start with one. I wonder when we're due for a crossbow run in this game, honestly. I did the heavy crossbow like probably a year and a half ago. I don't think crossbows are back in the list. Of course, that doesn't include Twitch requests. That's just, uh, if, you know, they just get randomly picked. Flynn's ring broke. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. All my everything broke. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go repair that. I guess we're gonna go to Forest Fallen Giants. Go get Melincha. Great Rat sells a crossbow. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured he would. He's like the, the bolt guy or the arrow guy. I figured he'd be the bolt guy, too. Well, that was a short-lived trip to Black Gulch. Have I done bow runs in every game now? DS1, yes. Demon Souls, yes. DS2. I haven't done a regular bow in, D in DS2 yet. I've done a crossbow, though, and a great bow. DS3, yes. Elden Ring, yes. It's basically everything but DS2. Are right, bolts more expensive than arrows in Souls games? I don't know. I guess they really don't want people using crossbows. More so than bows. I think I've done great bow runs in DS2. I guess just DS2 and Elden Ring. They don't exist, I'm pretty sure, in DS or in Demon Souls. And I haven't done one in DS1 or 3 yet. Minimum stat investment with crossbow. That's possible. It's definitely possible because I, I don't think they really ever scale with anything. I don't know if they do in this game. Then you have the ballista bolts in Elden Ring, which the minimum was like, I want to say 300. 300 souls. So I gotta buy this key. Grab that. I'm gonna get some fire bombs here too. Oh, I have three, never mind. I'm gonna blow this wall up and then I'm, we're gonna leave. Back to Majula. Lenegrast, I need your assistance. This guy's so mopey. I can't get into my house. My life is over. Not true, man. I got your key. Reinforce, no repair. All this, I guess. It's not really gonna do much for me, but it's something, I guess. Lin's ring will do something for me. A no scaling run might be fun if to do. The what? Using weapons with no scaling? Raw weapons only? I mean, I, like, I've done runs with raw weapons before. I guess if you were limited to only weapons that didn't scale, that could be kind of interesting just because you have to, you know, I, I don't know what's available, I guess. Depends on what's available. No magic. I mean, I never use magic on my runs anyway. Okay, this rod actually will hurt. I gotta be careful to not get hit here. Like I said, here it's... Stop going in the fire, dude.
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do Gulch Giants and get the DLC key, which means I gotta come back through here once the rod is dead. Bummer! Which kind of spaced out. It's alright, though. I need to also cut his left hand off or right hand off so I can get the Ferris Lockstone. I mean, I can buy one if I need to, but I like getting it here because it's nice and easy. I just cannot seem to hit the hand. I don't know if I'm getting the hand. That's all right. All right, we'll, uh, we'll come back here later. Or very, very soon. Gotta get the keys that I need. Do you actually need to light the primal bonfires in this game? What's the trigger for, um, for the Shrine of Winter opening? Is it the souls or is it the primal bonfires? It's gotta be the souls, right? Because if you don't get Freya's soul, you get the bonfire, you can't get through. I don't have homeward. Oh, it's annoying. Forgot to rest. Jesus Christ, that damage is ridiculous. Gonna be the rules for the randomizer. Uh, so we're gonna do enemy item fog gate randomizer. All key items are gonna be randomized to like be as obnoxious as possible. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna like, do one weapon per boss. I would like to do it so I have to use the weapons in the order I get them. But I don't know how feasible that's gonna be. Cause like if I get a a hand ballista or the jar cannon or you know like a a stave or something, then I don't know what I would do if I don't have like the ammo or spells. We gotta do all bosses. I don't know if I said that. Can't see too much here. These guys are too big. It'll probably be a pretty long randomizer. I want to do the dungeon crawler mod too, but I didn't want to do it for all bosses because I don't know. I don't even know if all bosses are in the the dungeon crawler mod or not. Because you don't have to go to the open world to do that. Homeward Bone, probably. Yes, I got one. Perfect. Yeah, I've done a randomizer in... God, I don't remember the last time. The summer, maybe? It's been a while. Plus, this would really be the last chance I get to do uh, an Elden Ring one before DLC. Because the randomizer, you know, the mod will be different after uh, DLC. I think it'll be more fun, just because it's going to have more stuff. 
whole new area and whatnot. That didn't do that much damage. Figured that would have hurt more. Okay, and then another homeward. I definitely want to do more modded runs, though. I've just been on, like, the weapon grind for a while. Why is it called the Forgotten Key if people to remember to pick it up? Well, to be fair, I don't think anyone remembered it until I did. A lot of people probably forgot it. Do that, and we'll do some endurance, too. And then back to Black Gulch. We gotta talk to Grandal, and then we'll go enter the DLC. How many things do I have? Nine? Okay, actually, Elmerd. Don't need to do anything else here. Aside from the rotten. Or, you know, post rotten. Oof, headshot. Poison. Just don't knock me off the thing. Forlorn. Gross. Okay, I do need to heal, though. I just keep getting stunned by this stupid everything. Stupid statues. Just go in. It's probably not gonna work. What well, worked? What is in that? I think there's like a petrified something. I also forgot the Ring of Giants. I could have picked that up, but it's alright. It's not like it would help that much. Not with this armor, anyway. So close to the second sword, I gotta grab the bow, too. So knowing that you can't do this part without a bow... Maybe, well, I don't know, if you have, like, throwing daggers or something, are those a thing in this game? Maybe you could use those. Just let me go forward, stop. The staggering. The layouts of these DLCs are so cool, man. It's like old Dark Souls style level design, you know, where everything is interconnected. That's like one of the big things I think DS2 is missing, like the base game. I don't know, they never really reached that level until or like after um, Dark Souls 1 with the world anyway, outside of DLCs, I guess. The Ring City kind of, I don't know, like both DLCs and DS3 are kind of like this, actually pretty interconnected. More so, I'd say, Ariandel, though. Oh. ds is a little different, though, because it's, like, two different areas. And you have to... You have a load screen between, like, the Drag Heap and the Ring City. Now that I think about it, the Ring City really only has, like, one... One part of it that's, like, where, like, you kind of, like, end up back where you started or whatever. I only have four arrows, too, which kind of sucks here. Elden Ring did it a little bit more with the, like, the individual dungeons, I guess. Like the legacy dungeons. That's gonna hurt. Dude, why would you give me Forlorn right here? Why does this game hate me? That was a bad roll. If I actually make it out of here alive, I'd be surprised. But I think we just might. This thing would move faster. Ay ay ay. Alright, so we gotta go. I think Forlorn can jump across the uh the gap here. Hope not. Gonna find out though. Shoot. Oh, it's the wrong what? Oh, I was holding the shot. Forlorn does not seem to be jumping. Shoot. Oh, it's because it's in the left hand. That's why. It's backwards. Does that work? I think Forlorn is confused. Which works for me. Alright, bow can come off. Don't need that anymore. Hello. Draw this guy up. I can skewer him. That's right. Soul of a hero. So there's Twinkling Titanite, I think, in the chest on the right. Oh, an effigy, that's helpful. 
Well, I'm getting poisoned. I just want this guy, like, not in the way, so I don't accidentally break a chest. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die, because I couldn't... I don't think I had stamina for another R2. I couldn't fish him off. That sucks. Bomber. It's alright. Everything's pretty much unlocked anyway. Although I gotta go through those dudes again, which kinda sucks. Poison's so brutal in this game. It doesn't last nearly as long, but they're just like, hey, we're gonna do all the damage in like 20 seconds that we would normally do over three minutes. Have fun. Definitely taking Poison Moss this time. So once we get this, we gotta go grab the other keys for everything else. So if you go this way, this is just a... Uh, what is this? What is over here? Anything? I don't remember. Dead end? Looks like a dead end. Is there like a thing you can drop down into this hallway from? I don't think so. Just a narrow corridor that leads to this room. I also hate how poison builds if you're backstabbing someone. Like, that's not cool. Come up. Come up. There you go. Well, that worked mostly. Oh! I can re-trigger it. That's helpful. Come on, boys. Or is it just one boy? Damn. I still hit him, wow. Take that. Is there one more, is that it? Looks like it's it. Alright, so I think this, unless it's trapped, should just be free Twinkling Titanite. Free three Twinkling Titanite and Dragon Bones, too. That's kind of good to know. Maybe we have to come here. There's a lot of Dragon Bones in this DLC. Here's your second sword. Let's see. I can power stance already, so I just want to see. L2. Yeah, just a normal straight sword power stance moveset. Nothing too fancy, but that's okay. We'll still do some one handing. Well, for now, I'll do two handing. Because it's not dark yet, and it's also not upgraded. Just let me climb, please. Thank you. So, next, we're going to get to McDuff so we can infuse this thing. That guy's dead. We could take the fun way. We could go through Flexile Sentry, but I'll probably just do the last giant of the Pursuer. Hey right, boys, come on. This way. Come get me. This guy's a problem. Actually, the dark damage from this thing will do damage to them. Probably, right? I think they just, like, are immune to physical damage. Alright, well, this is just gonna be a suicide mission, then. And I'm dead. How much I can do here? Need to get them out of here. They let me heal, luckily, but I need them to follow me so I can get them away from the chest. Jump, jump into the pit. Damn it, didn't work. I just need to hope that the the mage here doesn't try and hit me again. Okay, now we're good. Easy. So now we can just run to the end of the DLC. Yeah, we've done one boss in like 40 minutes. <laughs> this is taking forever. Are we on Twinkling Titanite? 15, beautiful. So we can upgrade this. Please, just be nice. I'm so, I just wanna move on. Let me get the elevator. Yes, use the Dragon's Stone. Why do things default to no in this game? Why would I not want to use the Dragon Stone? Jester Thomas is coming. Jump scare and Jester Thomas. I didn't make it in. Hmm. Just in case something horrible happens, I'll send that elevator back up too. Usually nothing happens, but there's been an incident once or twice. Jester Thomas didn't want my smoke. I guess not. So we're definitely not doing a lot of right now. A lot is going to be rough with this weapon, I think, just because of the dark damage. She will be very, very resistant to... how much is even dark here? Good chunk! 
Almost 50%. Okay, let's go back to the Forest of Fallen Giants. Cat rings on. Actually, I don't even need that. Just gotta go this way. Lack of poise hurts. I'm gonna die. Those souls weren't worth much, were they? So I don't really feel like picking them up. I'm being real. Ugh. They have an extra dude here too, which just makes this part awful. I can't even move. I'm I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. There's literally nowhere to go here. Yeah, they have a random red phantom. Just chilling. This is like one of those instances where having no iframes on fog gates for like your first however many frames of the animation just really sucks. This would be a completely different game if you could actually run through fog gates. Uh, I'm gonna have the G, I think. I have 15 of them. Why not? Well, this guy almost caught up to me. Jesus Christ. What the hell's going on? One, maybe two more spins. One, two. That's the wrong thing. Give me that. So after, I think after we go, after we upgrade this or we infuse the thing, or I guess both really, I think I'll go back and do Royal Rat Vanguard. And then I'm not sure what after that. No homeward, that's all right. Don't need it. I gotta rest though when we get to the Wasp Bastille. Oh my god, I was I got hit there. I was gonna seriously rage. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. These guys have are like out for me today. Catching up to me in fog gates constantly. I have the ring of blades on, right? The damage just does not feel that impressive. But I think it's mainly the R2. Like, the R2 is just so, uh, it's too fancy for its own good. Yeah, the R one's just better DPS. Straight up. Than uh, the R2. That feels pretty normal though, honestly. It's just like even per hit you deal more damage with the R1. Did I get a freaking branch already? And one. I need at least one more. We can get one after center, I think, so I don't need the one. I need the one on the left over here. Need the bonfire. Gotta rest. Dull Ember. So let's throw on fire bombs. In case we get a bad barrel. 
Dude, are you kidding? How, like, uh, this game is such a meme. I had a feeling that was gonna happen too. The stairs are a lie. Guess what I made for tea? I, I don't know what that means. Good barrel. Perfect barrel. It rolled down that hill, dude. Come on. Forlorn, really? I feel like I didn't see Forlorn for like the first two hours of this run, and ever since I've just been getting beamed by her. Just keeps spawning. Take my ember. Reinforce. One, two, three, four, and five. Repair. No. Buy. No, infuse. Dark. Boom. Tea is the British equivalent of what you Americans call dinner, but for us it goes breakfast standard tea. Oh, really? So like an after dinner thing? No, that's confusing. Dinner is lunch. Where are we going? We're going Grave of Saints. There's tea. Tea is like a snack. No, tea is dinner. I'm sorry. You literally just said that. And what's supper then? It's so confusing. To us, dinner and supper are pretty much the same thing. Dinner for you is lunch, and sometimes British schools call dinner lunch. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Bro. I'm just trying to enter a fog gate. Okay, let's do hand actually here. I want to do some spitting. Spin's gonna be so good for this. Until I run out of stamina. And then not so good. Oh, also can't hit the rat statues. That's not not good. So after something sweet at the end of the day? Okay, like a treat. I gotcha. Kinda like a dessert. That's so interesting. Where's the real one? He drops over here, I believe. There he is. Jesus Christ, man. This guy's ruthless. Hey, Nero, what's going on? Where is the real one? Right here. Mohawk rats. This is actual rat genocide right now. Uh oh. Alright, let me be a little careful. He does hurt. In New Game Plus, like this guy means business. What'd you make for tea? I, dude, I have no idea. <laughs> it could be anything. I swearest. I am gonna guess. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Beef bulgo bulgogi bulgogi stir fry. It sounds good. I assure you, I would not have been able to guess that. Let's go level up. So when people say tea time, is that what they mean? They mean like dinner, or do they actually mean time for tea? The drink. Because I honestly don't know. Roughly translates to fire meat. Let's see. What's next? I guess next we would do. I guess we could keep going with the Lost Bastille. So I'll go here.